Hey guys, how you doing? Dan here. And today I thought we could have a quick look at 10 different tips in two minutes to ensure you're getting the most out of your DJI Mini 2 photography. Let's start the timer. Tip number one is to ensure you're shooting in AEB mode. To do this, just tap your camera icon and drop down to AEB. This will ensure the DJI Mini 2 takes three images, one underexposed, one overexposed, and one roughly in the middle. The software will then stitch these images together to ensure you've got as much data as possible in the highlights, shadows, and the midtones. This is really great for when you've got really bright bits and really dark bits in your scene. Tip number two is to make sure you're shooting in RAW. This will again just ensure you've got as much data to play with. To do this, open the menu and then go to camera and there it is, you've got JPEG plus RAW. Tip number three is to experiment shooting at different heights. Just because you can go to 120 meters doesn't mean you should. Try and experiment in that sweet spot where you get really, really cool, unique perspectives which people haven't necessarily seen before. Tip number four is to make sure your image size is 4x3 and not 16.9. This is just to ensure you're using the full sensor of a DJI Mini 2 when capturing your images. If it's a 16.9, it's actually going to be cropped. Tip number five is to shoot multiple images and stitch them together. This can be done with a panorama mode on the DJI Mini 2. Tip number six is to be really cautious of your lighting. Shooting in golden hour will ensure you get the best image possible. If you shoot the same image at midday and at eight o'clock on a summer's day, the one at eight o'clock will look so much better. The light will be softer. It'll almost look like a totally different area. And you also get bonus points for doing this in golden hour on a winter's morning where you'll introduce fog into your scene and that image is really unbeatable. Tip number seven is to shoot with a circular polarizer filter. I use a Freewell CPL filter and this ensures your sky will be nice and contrasty and saturated, making sure it's not looking a little bit white and washed out. Tip number eight is to shoot with your ISO as low as possible. The higher your ISO is, the grainier your image will be. Whilst you're shooting outdoors, there should be very few situations where you need your ISO above 100. Tip number nine is to use your zebras and histogram to expose your scene correctly. With your histogram, anything to the extreme left of the graph is underexposed, anything to the extreme right is overexposed. Tip number 10 is to try and keep the drone static whilst taking your images. This will just ensure they're as sharp as possible and you're not introducing any unnecessary motion blur. You also have to do this when shooting automatic exposure bracket images. If the drone moves, the multiple images won't be able to be aligned correctly. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope that was under two minutes or around two minutes. I don't know how long it was until I get to editing. If you did learn something new in this video or if you was reminded of anything, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.